Hey, spooky lighting for a spooky show. It's huh. Andrew Andrew about to see Carrie. Carrie is a legendary show. Legendary for being horrible. It's one of the shortest running shows of all time. It was canceled in the middle of the third performance. Based upon the Stephen King novel. Which was um, a smash success. Right. It's a musical about minstrel psychic powers. I'm kind of excited to see it even if it is terrible. I gotta This admit. is my concern. Is it going to be good, like kitschy, like funny, like the Brady Bunch movie funny? Ooh. Or is it just going to be bad, just like not good, like I, I want to get out of Let's here? Let's find out. Steve. Andrew Andrew at the Lucille Hotel Theater to see Carrie. Wait, one more thing. Well, it's intermission, and it's so hard to separate this from the movie. Okay, this musical has done something that no other musical has ever done, which is make me who is terrified, I'm terrified of horror films, it's made me want to actually see the original. Because I want to compare and contrast, because frankly, it's, it's best when it comes off as kitsch, and it's worse when it comes off sincere. I, I really think they should have camped this up. I wish it was more like a campy, goofy parody, and less like a sincere attempt. There's no sense of irony, there's no kitsch, there's no camp. I made a mark every time that it was uncomfortably funny, where I kind of wanted to laugh out loud, so far I have made four marks. Costume designer, get the colors of the high school correct. Are they black, or do they match his Letterman jacket? Because everybody in the gym, they all have the black, they are Oh all my god, black. you're so right. Get, are, is, are the colors of the high school black and white, or, or are, are they uh, green and yellow? To me, this is the kind of musical that appeals to Midwestern drama geeks. It's a shame that none of them will be able to see it because it's so rampantly anti-Christian. I think that the whole anti-Christian bit is kind of interesting and awesome, but it's way, it's bogged down by sort of schlocky um, song and book writing. We're all looking forward to the big scene yeah, where course. she gets blood put on. It's gonna happen in the second half. Let's go back and see what happens to the second act of Carrie. Okay. Holy buckets of minstrel blood and pig blood. Okay. It might be worth it just for the last 20 minutes. It is like Macbeth on methamphetamines. Everybody dies. Out, out, damn, damn spot, spot. The second act did sort of trend up. I started to find myself actually caring about these people. You start to actually empathize. And there's a bit more kitsch and a bit more like tongue in cheek, winky wink also, to the is audience. Is there like in the a weird act. like lesbian relationship between yeah, that and was gym a, teacher? That was in the movie. It's, this is a really difficult show to sort of um, review because if you're a diehard fan of the movie or of the original musical, you owe it to yourself to see this. However, I can't fully tell you that by going to see this, you'll have a great night in the theater. You'll have good like a good 15 minutes maybe. Yeah. I sort of wanted like that a, train wreck. I wanted to see this show that was so bad yeah. that you were like, oh my god, is it really that bad? It's not that bad, but then again, it's not that good. It's a sincere attempt to translate the movie onto stage. I got I got to give this a, a red light. Solid red, light. solid red for me, yeah. I, it's just... I have to see a yellow light, wow. but with caution. With gr a great deal of caution. Carrie, you were really scary. She good. was no, she was good. The lead, she killed it. Yeah, yeah, and the mother Literally. too. The mother was hundred percent committed. Yeah, I just the rest of the cast left me really lukewarm. I think the script itself left me cold. Yeah.